Hi guys, Erin Icke here again, and we want to talk to you about some very basic things that are really, really important because guess what? You're coming on this amazing cruise, you've paid for this amazing cruise, we really want you to get on the cruise. So while we're being kind of silly, it's really important to remember that there are very strict requirements for your travel documents. Mm -hmm. We almost had an issue a few years back where my poor mom almost didn't get on the boat. Yeah, and that was not very good. I know. She had the original birth certificate from 1940 from the hospital. Could you imagine my mother-in-law not being able to go on the cruise with me? That would have been Tragic. terrible. Tragic. It would have been bad. She's going to see this video. <laughs> she knows that you love her. I'm her favorite son-in-law. <laughs> anyway, we don't want any of you to have a problem. And you'll meet my mom on this cruise. She's amazing. She's very sweet. But really important to remember... If you have a passport, you're good. That's all mm -hmm. you need is your passport. If you do not have a passport, two important pieces of information you must have. Number one, a official certified copy of a birth certificate. Not a photocopy, nothing no like that. You see how this has the seal down here? Mm -hmm. You have to have an official birth certificate right. with your state's seal. Second thing you've got to have is a valid government-issued photo ID. Don't bring your school ID or something like that. It has to be an official driver's license or ID card. And I believe a military ID is acceptable yes, as well. Yes, Government-issued ID, ID. Two forms of identification. Mm -hmm. Those two if you do not have your passport. And they don't have any way of making an exception if you don't bring it. There's no, oh, I forgot it and left it on the dresser before we left home. They will not accept anything but those documents, and that's the way customs is going to be. And that ship will sail when you hear that famous carnival horn at 4 p.m. and we start mm. turning around in the Mississippi River, we gone. Mm. So if you're not there, you're not coming. And I would hate to see that happen to anyone. So please make sure, check your driver's license. Make sure it's not about to expire. If it is, you've got two weeks to go get it renewed. If you don't have a birth certificate, you can go online to Vital Statistics. It'll cost you about $40 to get it sent to you express mail. But you must have those two things. Now, before you go, you need to go to Carnival.com. You need to have your booking number, not our group number, but your personal booking number. And you want to create an account if you have not already on Carnival. There are three things that you are going to need to print out before you come. First is your boarding pass, which looks like this. You will do the check. You can cover us up and show them. You're going to do the check-in process but you totally. Look so good. Oh, ha ha. You're going to do the check-in process totally online before you board. You will check in. You will go through all of your travel questions. So go through the online check-in process. And when your process is complete for everyone in your cabin, it will allow you to print that boarding pass. I just print an all-in-one for everyone in the cabin. If you're, not, if you're traveling with someone you don't know, then you can just print one for yourself. We have some people rooming together that are not traveling together and things like that. Um, shouldn't say if you don't know. Usually you're traveling you're gonna know, know. At least But if you're not arriving together you. at the port, print separate boarding passes. But if it's a family all together, just print one for the whole family. Second thing, health questionnaire. This is critical. Carnival will not let you board the ship without that health questionnaire being filled out. You're going to hand it to them when you arrive. It is going to ask you if you have been to certain countries recently, if you've in the last three days had any kind of symptoms of diarrhea, vomiting, bottom line. Carnival has an amazing track record. And with if you no answer yes to that one about the diarrhea, you're not going to go on the cruise. Right. So they're very good about making sure you don't see these outbreaks of disease a lot and, right. and infectious things on Carnival ships. They're very cautious about this. So fill out this questionnaire. And if you have been sick a day or so before the cruise, you might be in trouble. So I'm not telling you to lie, but if you had a little stomach bug a couple days ago, you might. You feel great. You feel great when you get on that boat. But if you're really sick, <laughs> don't come because we don't want you getting us sick. <clears throat> Third thing you're going to print is your luggage tag. This is critical. The luggage tag you're going to also write your name on. There are instructions on it. Do not cut this out. No. You're going to fold, fold, staple around the handles of each piece of your luggage. 
you are allowed one piece of luggage, two pieces of luggage, I'm sorry, for each person in the staple, cabin. Staple. Go online to carnival.com and make sure about the sizes. It's very similar to an airline. They're not as crazy picky about the weights because it's not like a plane. Um, but make sure every piece of luggage that you put on that boat has this tag. That's how Carnival gets it to your state It will room. not get to your room if it doesn't have that on it. Correct. Now, we always just print out one, make enough copies for everybody in the cabin, mm -hmm. and you're good to go. We take and we have, we've been cruising for almost eight years, and we have what we call our purple folder. Mm -hmm. In this purple folder, we have everyone in the family's boarding pass, everyone's birth certificates, everything that we need to get on that boat. When I say to the kids, I need your stuff for the purple folder. If you have it, give it back to me. They know they don't leave the house without everything being in this purple folder because when you walk up to the terminal in New Orleans, this sweet little old man, I don't remember his name, but he's just right. precious. Before you even enter the terminal, actually when the porter, when you park, mm -hmm. the porter will take your luggage for you. The parking at the Port of New Orleans is amazing. Mm -hmm. It's, it's really very good. safe. We've never had a problem. For a seven day cruise, I think it's around $100 or maybe $110. Totally worth it. The porter will meet you at the car, get your luggage, give him a nice tip. We usually give him like $2 a bag or something. And then you get on the boat with your carry-on and you're good. That luggage will get delivered to your stateroom before dinner. Usually, um, if you're in a suite or if you're platinum, you'll get it a little bit earlier. Otherwise, um, the higher decks get delivered first, the lower decks next but you'll have your luggage before dinner if you're planning on going swimming or something like that before dinner have your bathing suit in your carry-on girls have your makeup in the carry-on because you never know when you have to do a little touch up so i always bring a pretty big purse as my carry-on so when you get there you need to make sure all your luggage is tagged it's ready to go you have all of your documents because that sweet little old man is not even going to let you in the door without seeing your ID for everyone in your party and your boarding passes. Right. Anything so, else on travel documents? That's it. Just have those documents there. That is not an option. Now, once you board the vessel, your photograph will be taken. It will be connected to your ship card. So when you are leaving the ship and going to port... You don't need these birth certificates and right. things. All you need is your ship card and a driver's license, a photo ID. And you can slide that in in your lanyard right behind your ship card and you're all good. So once you board the vessel, put these away in a safe place because you're going to need them again when you get off the ship. Don't pack your birth certificates when it's time to get off the boat. That's why because you have the purple folder. Because Customs is going to need to see this mm -hmm. when you get back to New Orleans. Right. So keep it all in one safe place. When you board the ship, you can put it all away. You won't need it again until it's time to go through Customs on the way home. So that's it on travel documents. That's right. Happy check-in. Stay tuned for more.